find insight, guidance, and answers. answers. Tune into Spirit with radio medium Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee tuning in to Spirit for my special guest, Jerry. Hello. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Hmm, Jerry, I pick up two spirits for you that are coming hand in hand to me. They're coming up alongside of you. I get the sense they're parental figures, both your parents on the other side. That's correct, yeah. And they were together. Okay. Side by side. I mean, even up to the end, for one pass yeah. before the other, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so they just wanted you to know they're still there. I get a glimpse of your mom holding one of the children. I get the sense it's a boy. I don't know. It was you and or a grandchild she was holding that there's a photograph of that or is she just showing that to me? Does that make sense to you in some way? No, I can't think of a picture of her. Okay, I want you to hold on to it because it could also indicate that there was a loss of a child through a miscarriage or abortion and or another child to enter. My wife did have a miscarriage. She did. Her first pregnancy. Her first pregnancy. And have you guys been conversing about the possibility of having another? No. Was there talk about adoption? Um, actually, I had considered it, but we uh-huh. haven't gone. You gone haven't gone? Path. I want you to hold on to that because she's also giving that to me, okay? But maybe it's a child as well that there's a photograph of that, or she sees you as her baby, okay? But I feel like it means several different things. But I've okay. got an understanding, too, you have a son as well, right? Yes. Is he the youngest, by the way? Yep. Is he clingy to his mom, like a mama's boy, very sensitive? Yeah. Yeah. So it's all kind of folding into what she was trying to indicate to me at the beginning, too. I get the sense he might suffer from anxiety as well. Yeah, I think right? yeah. And I get the sense, too, there might be allergies as well. Like he has some sensitivities to things in his environment. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. well, I'm understanding that the whole school thing is putting a lot of pressure on him and he might be feeling really insecure about some of his studies and going back to school. And that's the sense I get from all of this with him. Sounds exactly right. Right, oh, yeah. <laughs> right. And she says to remember there's a lot of similarities connected to you so you know when she shows me holding the boy as well you know to baby him you're going to have to come from that place with him because I felt like that's even if you don't recall but that's how she remembers dealing with you as well she wants you to also solicit some connections to some school counselors as backup if it hasn't already been done And she wants to convey this because of his anxiety, which I just feel like has gone through the roof recently. And it might be because of what's going on with COVID. He just needs to be babied more. And he's just going to take more time and patience. He's not even a teenager yet, correct? No, just 11. Right. Yeah, but may even act younger sometimes. Little baby boy. That's how she saw you. I was her youngest. (laughs) Yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, 100%. I hope that sinks in and just, you know, be aware more. So they want to convey that. And thank you, Jerry, for sharing your time with me. Thank you very much. That was great. Thank you. Yeah, and if you want to be a caller into the show like Jerry, sign up at Radio Medium, com, where you can also subscribe to your favorite podcast and listen to more readings like this one. And thank you for sharing the show. We appreciate it. 